Hey guys, Bolt here, and as the title suggests, we're doing some little goofy video today. Um, so, I didn't know what to really do, and I wasn't going to hit you guys with a summary uh, within a week of each other. I would like to, well, within a very short time. I would like to have, like, a summary every rotation, um, or try to, like, space out the summaries anyways. Because uh, the summaries were quick for me. And they inform the people trying just to learn the lore. Um, but anyways, this is kind of just a talking video. A bolt topic, uh, if you will. Um, basically, what the whole like subject is, is we had one episode. We had some background, uh, like, well, we had some art drop. And then um, we were just, like, listening to... The, the podcast to kind of figure out how Hell of a Boss, uh, not Hell of a Boss, Has Been Hotel was going to turn out. Um, and then we got season one and some things got changed. And that's kind of like my whole topic idea. Uh, so before, like basically I'm just going to go character by character of the main characters and also kind of have some things of what could happen in season two. Because that's all I guess going to happen within this year or next year. Um, anyways, uh, so let's just go ahead and start with, like, our main characters that are within the hotel. Starting with Charlie, really, like, everyone's thoughts from pilot to season one isn't all that different. Because it's just, like, this uh, light of sunshine that gets burnt out because um, the people around her don't believe in it. No one else believes in what she's doing. And uh, even, like, the people... Who, like, yes, the heaven part is, like, you'd think if you were a Christian, just, oh, they, you know, they should at least think about it. But, like, if you were a part of the hell hellverse, you'd kind of notice that there is a problem with heaven since the beginning. And it was pretty n notable why uh, no one uh, thought that this was going to work right. Because the, se the seri series would go like this if they just talk to an angel and say, hey, is this possible? Oh, yeah, it's possible. Oh, yeah, we have proof that an angel said we can do this. All right, let's work on getting people to heaven. That would be so, like, easy. But, uh, no, we knew from the beginning. And then just Charlie's personality is very understandable. Um... And then, you know, like the whole father-mother aspect we kind of seen in the pilot. So, Charlie hasn't really, like, changed. Um, Vaggy, um, a lot of people thought of her as more of a, we're going to learn, um, like, her crimes. And then, like, season one is just, oh, by the way, she's a fallen angel that was supposed to be an, uh, a, an executor. Or like a uh, someone that would just kill these demons, uh, and then she was too uh, too good that they were like, "All right, you're getting punished for your good acts and your like morals being higher than us. All right, let's take your wings, let's take your eye, and keep you in hell. Let's punish you for nothing." <laughs> um, and then Angel, they're basically. It, Ever since, like, um, oh, what's that music video? Oh, gosh, I can't remember what it is. But there was a music video that talk was between him and Cherry Bomb. And, like, his character was very flushed out at that point. Just, he was a part of a mob family. Then, because he, was, he dealt in drugs and stuff. You know, he, I think he overdosed um, and basically was like, all right, you're getting punished for your cr criminal activity and your drug use. Um, and also, uh, he's also, you know, uh, basically a drag queen uh, and uh, uh, is also kind of, I think, I think he's gay. And it, it was like kind of just like yes, so here's here's who he is as a person, and then there's his work, which is abusive in almost every single manner that is possible. Um, that is understandable. And Valentino, real quick, 
He's a pimp. There, there was not much of a change in um, background information to now. Um, Vox. I'd say based on the fandom, we all thought he was going to be some kind of like high level overlord kind of like Alistair. Like he is, but like his attitude does not show it. He's more like ego boosted. And then when Alistair like walks in the room, he's like, oh, he's going to steal my thunder again. That that's the, I would say he has a change. Um, Alistair. I'd say he's pretty spot on from the pilot. The only thing that we're learning now is that he's got some kind of deal that he's trying to get out of um, where his soul is owned by someone else. Um, but that's that's it. And then like his entire motive is so... It isn't just for his entertainment now. It's just, hey, Charlie is a very powerful individual. If I have her on my side or have access to said power, I can possibly get out of my situation. Um, I'd say he has just more, it's more of motives have changed with him more than his personality or who he is as a person. Um, nifty, not really. It's more like they added more crazy to her more than anything. She was more of a clean freak in pilot one who would just like hype up ha Alistair. And then it's just like, yeah, big freak that, that really likes to like, Kill bugs, um, clean, but uh, then she's got like a, uh, I don't know what it is, like behind closed doors, you don't know who I am kind of personality. And then Husk, I'd say he is probably one of the bigger characters to change from pilot to, to series because he's like, he just some drunk person, that, like some alcoholic that just happens to be owned by Alistair, who's got a gambling problem. And, uh, you know, he's kind of just that person that, he, he feels like a couch. Uh, um, oh, what is it called? Wherever you jump from couch to couch. That's basically what he, he, he feels like. Um, but then we learn in this, in the series that, uh, He's basically an old overlord that became uh, Alistair's pet through gambling. Um, which kind of adds a whole backstory and the why he's the way he is. Um, which I'd say, you know, and then, you know, having a, you know, somewhat similar, he's got... He's got empathy slash sympathy for for Angel, so having that support for Angel works. Um, let's see, Cherry, I think might be my next one. Um, Cherry is probably one of the biggest uh, like changes, I personally think, because it looks like she's just some person just blowing stuff up to blow stuff up, and has like I think. Uh, from the music video I referred to earlier that you know she had she had a relationship go bad and she's kind of doing her rebellion fate like a rebellion phase to kind of get back at that time um, and kind of doing her own thing but it's uh, she's more of a party animal than um, like she supports Angel like we've seen but it's just like her personality doesn't feel the same that the fandom has built her up to be um you know just some rebellious teenager and one more it's more of just a party animal that goes out does her own thing um oh who else is there uh we didn't really see much of velvet not much of um rosie i mean rosie she's a carnivore a cannibal and like her little murderous tendencies we did know about are understandable. Um, we just got more detail about her since then. Um, who else have we really seen? Um, we're still waiting on the boyfriend, her, the ex-boyfriend um, of Charlie. That is something that will probably happen in season two. We did see a picture of him in the Lucifer episode. Um, 
Uh, we're still waiting on the big G-O-D. Um, I'd say the last two characters that I really want to go over is... Um, oh, what? I mean, we've went over the exterminators, but we kind of just thought they were just angels sent down to kill. Um, the heavens um, reasonings have also kind of transformed, and you know that makes it better because it's it feeling like there's just not enough space in hell doesn't feel right. Um, what is it? Oh yeah, uh, Lucifer and Lilith are some of the biggest changes and I mean big changes and this and and the Lilith situation is probably the biggest reason why I even started making this video um, so Lucifer you didn't get to be some big bad that feels betrayed and it's mostly because the Lucifer series or if you watched uh, Oh, what is it called? Supernatural. You have a built-in Lucifer personality that just every time you see Lucifer, you automatically think it's going to be this personality. But from what we see is just he actually had ideas that Heaven didn't want to go with. Or he had some very extreme ideas that he was trying to put into uh, play and they basically said no. Um... In him being the awkward, socially uh, uh, awkward person and just, oh, I want to be my daughter's you know, best friend. Um, and, and I'm very depressed. That, that is probably the quickest thing because it's like, I'm the royal king of hell to I just want to be loved is such a big jump. And then just Lilith. We didn't get too much of understanding about her, and we don't really get to see a lot of Lilith. Um, and if we go on to any like biblical shows, it's mostly going to be Eve that ha that kind of takes that position of like comes back as the leading lady to to like why the sin exists. Um, Lilith is kind of a weird scenario where it's just like the fandom took and ran with whatever little information they had and basically made her the perfect mother, the perfect wife that just, you know, said, screw what humanity was planned to be. This is where I am, where the series is now portraying her as, yes, she was very rebellious against Adam. She didn't want to go along with the humans. And, um... While I believe she would have been, she is still the perfect mother to, like, she is probably the perfect mother to, to Charlie at the beginning, but the perfect wife, I don't think so, based on what we've seen in, I think it was episode seven during the song uh, between Charlie and Lucifer, we kind of see that Lilith kind of probably had a very early on problem with Lucifer. Um... But, uh, you know, taking the child to kind of walk away from the husband instead of joining them. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just that she went, spoilers, you better go see it, um, that she retreats to heaven. It has a deal with them. So what is that deal? Like, uh, based on like some of the lore we've gotten, it sounds like she tried to make a rebellion or like try to ri have sinners rise up, but um, to like save herself or like have a certain scenario um, where like her, ki her, her, uh, her daughter can't be touched. Um, it, it's like it feels weird to have this character who's a leading, who's a leader to the sinners, just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna turn on them, let them get exterminated, um, keep my daughter in the dark to what I'm planning to do, and then just like it, it feels like she's gonna be a big device of trying to like take down the hotel from from an emotional standpoint, um, 
by using Charlie's, I'm your mother, I know best, you shouldn't be doing this because it, it's like making my life worse. Um, and that's about all I can think of for that. Um, she's probably the, probably the biggest change from like fandom thoughts to series. Um, anyways, I think that's about it. I have to at least make one more video before I have to get ready for work. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one, which uh, Friday is going to be our... Um, oh, we're, basically we're going to go over small details with uh, the... Uh, I have to wait for this. Because basically, I'm recording this on the 21st of, of June. Um, and by the time you see this, I think this will be June 3rd. Um, so it's going to be about... It would have been like two weeks since the release of uh, Mandel Volume 5. Basically, I'm waiting for that to release on the 24th. I'll make a... I'll make a summary... To that in the ad from um, Walton Files, and then there's also a uh, oh, we have the 10th anniversary schedule for Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, that is my plan. I might divide those two because uh, having the summary of Volume Five might be better than just having the 10th anniversary stuff. Um, I might just flip the script and have. Uh, the summary of Volume 5 come out next week. Um, sadly, that would make us have two summaries in a week, but um, I think having the Finance of Freddy's news um, is better than like trying to impact all three of them together. Like I'll still probably go over the ad in that Finance of Freddy's video, but uh, Volume 5 should have its own video, it sounds like. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.